Hello. This is Sienna Benjamin reporting from the BCCBC network in Manchester. Today we have a breaking story on the attempted assault on democracy that took place on January 6 in America. Malcolm Wirtz is remote with an editorial about the events of that day. So, go ahead Malcolm you are on. Once again, the American news media has got it all wrong. I have inside information, that it was not an insurrection or act of terrorism at all. It was just a bunch of bloody blokes that got erroneous information, about a, village, idiots convention, being held there on that day. And when they got there, they got confused and started, breaking things. Which your typical village idiot will do from time to time. Yes, Malcolm. We Brits are well aware of this issue. But we refer to ours as, twits. It just seems like America is overloaded with them. That is right, Sienna. According to information that I have, America has the most dumbasses, by numbers, and per capita, than any country in the modern civilized world. And if any country would like to challenge me on that, I am going to have to go there and see that for myself. So, congratulations, America, you are still number one in something. Wow, Malcolm. That was a very harsh, poignant, editorial, so at this time, we would like to offer a rebuttal from our counterpart in America. We have Mr. Thomas Berksmith from station WKVSS Los Angeles with us. So take it away, Thomas. Malcolm's editorial was the most offensive piece of crap that I have ever heard. How dare you state that America is the dumbass capital of the world? I take it that you haven't been to Canada. I have been to Britain and there is a twit on every corner, so you have a lot of nerve stating that. As far as the village idiots that you refer to. Well, uh huh. Screw it. You are probably right. So, I am out of here. Well, that was certainly interesting. In summary, if American villages do not know where, their idiots were, on January 6, 2021. Then I would have to say that, you really are, dumb, asses. So that is our broadcast for tonight. Have a good night, and a pleasant tomorrow.